Hi everyone, my name is Lori, my nickname is Rini, and I'd like to welcome you to Rini Bogini Creations. If this is the first time you've stopped by to check out my channel, I'd like to offer you a very warm welcome. I do hope you like what you see, and if you do, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing and sharing with your fellow crafters. If you're one of my amazing subscribers, welcome back. I have such a treat for you today. I'm so excited about this one. Today, you're going to make this little cute bee. How cute is he? Is he adorable? And it's all made with stuff from the dollar store. So what is supposed to be happening right here in this video is right now I should be holding a little coffee can with a picture of my bee and a list of all the things in the coffee can to send to you if you're someone that cannot get what you need to make the little bee. Unfortunately, the most important part of the bee being the striped tights were not in stock and they're still not here and they were supposed to be here by this video. So once they get here, I'm really excited about this. I'm going to do this for a bunch of different crafts uh, on my channel. I will eventually offer you what I'm going to call a coffee can craft. So again, if you're someone that can't get the things that you need to make a certain project, I will have a link in the description box that you can go to and you can order the coffee can craft, which will come with everything you need to make it that particular craft. And it will have on it the code, uh, the QR code to bring you to the right video to do it. I'm really, really sad that they, nothing came in time, but I did want to get the bee uploaded anyway, so please check back. I will um, put it in future videos as well as soon as everything arrives. It was supposed to be here in plenty of time, but it did not come. So as soon as I have everything, again, check back with me. I'll put the link in the description box and uh, you'll be able to order everything you need to make some of these crafts. Sorry guys, on with the video. Anyway, let me stop you at Fetcha and we'll get on with the crafting. Okay, so for those of you who've been following my channel, you'll kind of know what I'm doing here. Whenever I do a gnome, I find this is the best way to fill them up. So we're gonna get the gnome body ready. So to do that, all I do, I just find the cheapest brand of rice that I can find because it doesn't have to taste good and I just start filling our sock and this sorry I probably didn't even show you it's just a sock I picked up at the dollar store just a little socket and it's about the perfect size for these gnomes that I generally do so this doing it this way will make your life way easier than trying to uh, Fill it without putting it over a can. Now it does make a bit of a mess. I always end up with some around. And you do want to press it down. And I'm thinking that would be about right. So then you're just gonna pull them out. And then just with a regular elastic, we're going to tie him together. Just like that. So now we have the body of our little gnome. Now you can certainly go bigger if you want to, uh, but just find the size that works for you the best. So for our, this is our body of our little bee gnome. So the next thing we need to do is turn them into a bee. So what I've got, these are actually pantyhose that um, they had in the dollar store around uh, Halloween, but I have also found them on uh, Amazon. So I will put that link in the description box for you. So I'm gonna, cut off as much as I think that I need. Uh, we can always shorten it if it's too much, but if we get too little, of course, it's not going to work. So just measure it against your little body. And then just trim it off with your scissors. Set that aside. And then I'm just going to obviously slip him inside our pantyhose.
Now I think he's already cute. We haven't even done much yet. So just like that. Now if, um, like, the, the foot works perfect, right? So it stays on. But if you have cut the foot off, you can still make your B. Uh, you can just glue it to the bottom or um, same kind of thing at the top here is just elastic it. But we have the foot, so we're going to go with it. And then I am going to use an elastic to get that one all in as well. Okay, so there's our little bee. And if you're not happy if the stripes are crooked, just mess with them until you get them where that you want them. So the next step is giving him his little hat, his little bee hat. So I'm going to use black for this. Of course, you can go with yellow if you prefer, but I think the black will work perfectly for this. So for his little hat, I just have this pair of pantyhose or tights that I don't know, I use tights for everything in this. And you can see I've already used it so the foot's gone. So I'm going to cut, let's say, two and a half, three inches. Something like that. So you'll be left with a little sock like this. So then we are going to do our little trick with the elastic again. And I'm just going to elastic it. And then I'm going to turn it inside out. So you're left with something that looks like this. Then when we put it on, we're going to roll up the edge to kind of give it a clean edge. But before we do, I do want to stuff him a little bit. So I want him to have a little bit more fluff than what I have here. So I do have the stuffing. Um, but if you don't, just use what you got in. You can use scraps, you can use uh, plastic bags, anything should work. And I'm just going to tuck it in, just like that. Now when I put it on, I'm a little bit happier with the way that's going to look. But before we do his little hat, we're going to give him his beard. So you can use mop thread, you can use um, uh, the white fur, whatever works for you, whatever you like. I'm going to go with this brown one. So to cut this, and thank you to my lovely subscriber that gave me this tip. I don't know why I didn't think of it, but amazing. Rather than cut it with scissors, uh, which will give you a weird end, if you cut the back side trying not to go through the fur, it won't give you that weird edge. So I kind of separated it a little bit anyway. And then just using my utility knife, I'm going to cut it that way in hopes that it'll get that weird edge. Now, for his beard, of course, we don't want it perfectly square. That would be strange. So I'm going to just do the corners. And then we have a 
little bit of a better beard. So when we put our beard on, and then we put our hat on, with the nose, it's going to be so cute, I just know it is. So I am just going to cut a wee notch in the middle of his beard. So if you just fold it in half, and that's where his nose is going to go. And then we're going to glue him his beard on. So just using plain hot glue gun. And you just need to go around the top. You don't need to do the whole thing. I'm just using that line as my guide after trying with the hat and making sure where I wanted it. So now we're going to put on his little hat. And so I'm going to push it on and then I am not going to glue right there yet because I want to be able to manipulate it over his nose. You will want one of these fancy things so you don't burn your fingers while you're doing this because I know I will. There he is so far, so now we just need to get his nose on. So for his nose, I brought my pantyhose back here, and I do have this bead. And I was going to do it black, but I don't think, you, you won't see it, it won't stand out, and I kind of want it to. So if you look on the edge of the pantyhose, there's this hem. So if you just cut a little square of that, oh. I can push the bead in through there. Like so. And then I'm just... You'll see how, he, how he's going to go. So I'm just going to trim the back a bit so I don't have so much bulk. just double it just because I, I want it to be really yellow. So I just sort of doubled it up. Now this part's going to be a bit icky and tricky because I'm trying not to burn myself. I'm just going to put a bunch of glue in here and try to pinch the whole thing together. When I've got it, you know, pretty good, pretty where I want it. Trim off some of this again, just to get rid of some of the bulk. Good. And then we are going to tuck his nose in. So oh, a couple spots I should just fix. And I am just going to lift up his hood just a bit here so I can sort of tuck the nose under. Oh, it's our nose is in there. I'll finish the hat with a bit of glue as well. So there's his little bee nose as well. Now, before we start doing the fancy embellishments, bees also need wings and antennas. 
So I've got some really cute ideas here for you for the wings and antennas. So I also figured our little guy needed a stinger. So I cut a square out and it wasn't like I just folded a triangle. And just cut it that way so the precision is not necessary for this. As you will see. <laughs> yeah, so it doesn't have to be perfect by anybody's stretch of the imagination here, but I already have this one. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my fluff, just a little bit, tuck it in. With my hot glue, I'm just going to seal it up. There we go. So then, all we need to do is we're just going to kind of glue them on and give them a little stinger. I'm just going to trim up the edge here a bit. All right, kind of got it. Okay. And there's his little stinger. So we need to do the antenna and his wings still. Wait till you see what I have in store for his wings. So next for our little bee, he needs antennas. So I found these, I've got these black and yellow um, pipe cleaners. They were just in my stash. And so I thought they'd be really cute just twisted together. And then we've got some little pom-poms we can put on top for his antenna. I'll see how long I want them to be here. So I've twisted him up. I've left the end a little bit open so that we can glue him on. Um, probably just going to bend the, the yellow one up and out of the way and we'll just glue it on. And I kind of want mine to be a bit wonky so just play with them and see what you think. So we glue on our pom-pom. And then just playing with them to see where we think we want his, his antennas to be. And then just with a little hot glue, There's our little guy with his antennas. So now he needs some wings. And I was kind of stumped about those, but I came up with an idea I think I'm gonna work. So it's gonna work well. So again, we're just going with our um, pipe cleaners. So you're gonna take two, and I've kind of measured them on him where I want to go. So just see what, what you like, if you want them bigger or smaller. And then I'm just gonna twist them. We'll cut off some of our ends after. Now, if you want them kind of wonky, whatever you do to the one, you're gonna to do to the other because we are gonna put some, there we go. I got this cellophane and I know it looks very green when you fold it up, but when it's single, it just kind of has like a pearly sheen to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put glue around both sets of wings and I'm going to put some of this in between and then trim around it so it doesn't show so um, but you don't my glue gun is quite hot so I'm going to put it on and then just give it a second before I put the cellophane in so I should cut something down a little bit smaller first a little bit easier to work with
And this cell thing just came from the dollar store. And they have pink and purples and other colors too, but I thought this one went fairly well. All right, so now I'm going to just put some glue. do it to both sides and I'm going to sandwich it in between and I think that will give it a little strength and keep it from like the rough edges being seen so that's the plan we'll see if it works here smaller scissors that I think I'll use to just trim around there. And then we're left with two little wings that look like that. So I'm going to trim off most of these ends. But I am going to leave just a little bit. So he's going to look just right where they should be. So there's our bee wings. I'm just going to situate them uh, where I want them to be and then we will attach them to the back. So I'm just going to attach them to the bottom of his, his neck sort of and I kind of want them a little off. I don't want them to be all perfect. Um, so I'm going to start by just hot gluing them in place and then just to hide that little mess I've got this little piece of felt still I'm just going to cut it into a little and just tuck it over and that's going to help him fold it's going to kind of hide those ugly edges Okay, so now that's our little bee with his wings. So we're just gonna add some, some detail and some uh, embellishments to him now. And so being that he is a bee, we should have some bees on him. So I'm gonna just add them here and there where I think they should go. Now these are self-adhesive that I never find. They stick very well. So I always, oops, add just the dot of glue. So just to finish them off, I thought these little wire, these little bees on wires were kind of cute. You could kind of have them flying around them and not just landing on them. So this wire is just, I'm sure it came from the dollar store, and it's just uh, jewelry wire. It's a very light grade. You can use whatever grade you want. And I'm just gluing our bees to them.
and then I'll just sort of tuck them up somewhere where they where I can glue in the ends just like this one here and then just to finish it off I've got these little iridescent flowers again you can see they came from the dollar store I got a whole whack of them here and I thought the iridescence of them would help with pull in the the sort of the wings that he has so I think this is dry enough now I'm just gonna find a place to tuck this So there he is, our little gnome. And I hope you really like him, so I'll go get some better pictures of him and get rid of some of this uh, hot glue strings. <laughs>